So hello everyone and so this tutorial is actually a follow-up for the previous tutorial about linear interpolation and it's used to uh, in, to implement something that uh, resembles a smooth uh, object following sort of thing. Um, so today what we'll be doing is actually creating a ghost effect using the same principle of uh, how do we call it? Of interpolation, of course. So, first of all, uh, I have my scene here set up. Uh, nothing really complicated, as you can see. Just an empty scene. Uh, what we will do now is uh, let's populate it with um, an icon for the sake of example. I'm going to set the transform to uh, 0.5, um, maybe 0.5. So that the sprite is a little bit smaller. And what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this sprite. And every, so let's say that uh, we're, we're going to du duplicate it um, four times, for example. What we want to do is that every time we du duplicate it, we're going to go to uh, visibility and modulate and we'll change the alpha value so let's say that um, for the second icon we're going to have something like 100 and or 200 for example for and now so duplicate it again we get a third icon uh, we go to visibility again in the modulate we are going to set it to something like 120 125 and duplicate it ag again and for the last one we will set it to something like 45 or, or such something like that okay uh, so I want to of course go ahead and uh, rearrange these um, so we have the um, the one with the, the lowest alpha value at the background. Alright, now we are all set up. We're going to attach a new script to the Node2D. Uh, I named it Node2D2. Create that script. Alright, uh, let me get rid of these function, this function and this. So the first thing we want to do again is get references for all these icons here. Alright, uh, nothing fancy. We're going to declare an honor ID of our icon. Uh, dollar icon. And we're going to do the same thing for all of them. So, icon 1, dollar icon 1, icon 2, dollar icon 2. Um, oh no, um, so we have, we don't have an icon one, sorry. So icon two, dollar icon two, icon three, dollar icon three, and icon four, dollar icon four. Okay. Uh, so, and what we want to do is we want to move uh, icon. Okay, so this, this is going to work for uh, a scene where for example, you have the character of your player and you want to move it around uh, using some sort of input. But I'm not going to uh, go ahead and set up an input through the keyboard. Instead, um, for the sake of example, we'll only be using uh, mouse movement. So we'll make the sprite follow the mouse. With, which means uh, icon of global position going to be equal to get a uh, global mouse position okay so next we want to set the icon to global position right icon to dot global position and this is where uh, interpolation comes in what we'll do is we'll interpolate between icon to global position and uh, the position of the uh, previous icon which is icon so we'll be interpolating between the position of this sprite and that of this sprite 
So, which is equivalent to writing icon.2.global position, but uh, linear interpolate, and we'll be interpolating between icon.global position, right? And let's say 0.3 for this one. Okay? So the amount is 0.3. And we are going to do the exact same thing for icons 3 and 4, uh, meaning for icon 3, I have icon 3.global position equal into icon 2, okay, icon 3.global position dot linear interpolate. And uh, here, instead of using icon dot global position, We'll be using icon 2global position. It's the same thing, but uh, using this one, make sure that um, that icon 3 will follow a position that is uh, behind icon and not. Um, you'll see, you'll see the effect once it's up and running. So, uh, as I said, the same thing for icon 4. So icon 4 dot global position dot linear interpolate uh, for icon 3 dot global position same amount and we're ready to run this and see what it gives all right and as you can see we have our ghost like effect if the player is moving on a horizontal or let's say a curve you can see that the uh, sprites they fall along pretty smoothly so thank you so much for watching uh, see you again uh, next time with another Godot basics tutorial